We are imagining a journey to uh, one of the polar regions on the Earth, to the spot where the ice is receding because of climate change. Part of our challenge is to create a sense of rapid change moving through the space, and then we to create what's there at that liminal space where the ice used to cover, but it isn't anymore, and what creatures are being discovered, and are they toxic to humans? Are they benign? What are they? You know, you're in the DC art scene, you just meet. It's not that big and, you know, you meet at different events and through different shows and so we all got to know each other in, in various ways. Michelle was the one who had the idea for making the proposal for the show and contacted the two of us. But we really developed the theme all together. Yeah. I mean, we basically just, you know, we had the idea of doing a science themed show to pitch to the AAAS, but we, you know, we started in that very general way and we kind of gradually like focused down and down and came up with something that we were all really excited about. I started working with uh, biological and medical imagery in my own work a few years ago when I began realizing that some of the more abstract forms that I was making were actually real forms in nature. I, um, had been making a, a beaded form that I just thought of as an icosahedron and it was beautiful and then realized that it was viruses and viruses that are very pertinent to our lives now like HPV and HIV. And then once you start digging into those relationships between sort of perfect geometry and, and objects in nature, you just open up to this, this incredible, um, you know, world of, of uh, biological forms, and it just never ends. I mean, once you make the connection, you find them everywhere. I have always been fascinated by the imagery of biological structures. I look at pictures online, of which there are now an incredible, it's an incredibly rich variety. What particularly fascinates me is the combination of just sheer beauty of the biological imagery and the amazingly perfect functionality of the creature that's represented. The combination of the two really fascinates me. I was doing very abstract watercolors and I had a show at Children's Hospital in DC about 10 years ago. And one of the people who was organizing the show mentioned that they thought that my work looked like stuff under a microscope. And I thought, wow, that's really cool. So I started looking at pictures of stuff under microscopes and I just got more and more interested in it. It gradually just became like a, a big preoccupation of my work that there's this kind of hidden world. Um, and I love that and that, that we're able to see it through a microscope and that other people are able to see it in my work. I think all scientists are hoping that people are paying attention to their research. That's true. And that this is another way that we can, you know, even though we're not sort of saying here we're illustrating these findings, we're drawing attention to what scientists are out there doing. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I mean, I think that a lot of scientists are interested in a, in a more sort of artistic way of looking at things. Sometimes it takes a little while to bring them around. Artists need to appreciate a way of seeing that is that is characteristic of scientists, That's a way of, of really yeah. seeing what's around you in an objective way. Mm -hmm. something that most artists should pay more attention to. I think the scientific process is something that actually some, some artists might benefit from it, taking, you know, taking a, more, a more studied view toward how they, how they produce things. I mean, not always, but, but um, I think I think the two fields have, have intersected for forever. It's just a question of getting them to to acknowledge the ways that they do, you know. Well, we're yeah. certainly hoping that we can encourage the scientists to see some of this from our perspective, which is a more um, conceptual, um, emotional kind of a perspective than just from the data. Mm -hmm.